What's his name? A staccato. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> Great little piano player. I'll talk to you. Outside. Oh, it's raining outside. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I've got an umbrella. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. Don't go away. They know we have a crooked game going on around here. I knew this place was bugged. <clears throat> Wait a minute, don't go away. <laughs> oh, Sergeant Gillen, uh, neighbors complaining? All right, save the tear gas. Look, this is a very nice, friendly game. There's no money on the table. It's as quiet as a church, and I wouldn't do anything with Waldo here that I wouldn't do in front of my own mother. Come on outside a minute. All right, don't make a move. Know what I told you once? If you ever stepped out of line, I'd be right there to lean on you hard. Yeah, so? You're resisting arrest? Arrest for what? Do I look stupid? You want me to lie? Come on, scram! Yeah. Take that back inside. Come on, let's, let's go through them again, huh? One. Two, three, four, five. That's him, all right. Are you positive you'd swear to it in a court of law? I'd never forget that face as long as I live. But you can't think of any reason why anyone would want to put Romney out of the way, huh? No business rivals or personal enemies? What business rivals? He ran a bowling alley way out on Long Island. You know, who was he competing with? Drive-in movies? Well, has he been worried about anything lately? I mean, uh, did he have anything on his mind? Oh, when didn't he worry? I'd say last night. Oh, what was it? He was grabbing about some, some characters who made him put in a jukebox. So he didn't want to be high-pressured. What does that make him? Were there any open quarrels? 
I mean, uh, any threat, anything like that? You can't think of anyone else who hated him enough to hire this punk to kill him, huh? Everybody liked him. He was, he was generous. Everybody liked him. He was a nice guy. All right, take him away. Look, I've got a right to make one phone call. All right, who you calling? Waldo. Better tell him to get your cheap lawyer. No point wasting good money. Waldo, I was just trying to call you. Get a hold of McNeely and tell him to put up a bond for me. They are actually holding you for murder. Yeah, funny, isn't it? You must be out of your mind. I think we got a good case. You know better, you tell it to the jury. Meanwhile, I think you better look for a new piano player. For heaven's sakes, you know perfectly well John couldn't have done anything like that. Do I? Listen. He was with me in one room since 10 o'clock tonight. The murder was committed at 9.25. He was having a dinner with a girl, Tanya Salerno. I'm trying to get rid of her. Don't do that. Morris. Murray for short. Where's the money? You don't even know what you're supposed to do yet. Where's the money? It's in the paper. doing what you're doing self-defense self-defense what do you mean self-defense the survival of the fittest in this case i happen to be the fittest if i'm not <laughs> who's a hit you must go all over i mean working steady all the time don't you who's the hit him buried? No. He's a loudmouth. He thinks he's tough. He wants to set an example for all the other customers. Maybe leave us with a warehouse full of boxes. Okay. He wants to be an example. You make him an example. <laughs> Bounce him a couple of times off the ceiling. Ruffy bounces back. Self-defense is your business. When do you want him done? Uh, right now, soon enough. Here's his address. Take a taxi. Hey. And watch your step. He's no chicken. Get out of here. some sense out of all this. It seems Rumley was talking to the investigators for the grand jury, telling them about how your friends 
We're getting those satisfied customers for the jukeboxes. What do you call it? The hard sell, huh? Huh? We kept it out of the papers. We kept it out of the papers uh, to protect them. How they took Grumley into a back room and turned the jukebox up full blast. And then they wrapped wet towels around their knuckles and stuck beating them up. Beating him up, keeping time to the music till he was ready to sign. He got a neat job, too. You know, there wasn't a mark left on him anywhere. He could have come right out of a Turkish bath. Oh, you sweet music lover. You know what it feels like to, to get beat up like that, to feel all busted up inside like a squash grape. Oh, you might feel like that, too, yet. Where's Sullivan? Why can't I see Sullivan? He's your pal. I bet you want Sullivan. He's your pal, huh? Well, I'm not. I hate your type. Uh, private eye, huh? Why don't you stick to telling playful husbands or peeping through keyholes? You sell your pal. Your pal is our pal mine. You're going to sit right there until you tell me exactly who it was paid you to murder Rumley. No one paid me, and I didn't kill him. Get your coffee. You're going to sit there a long, long time. Machines. Next thing I know, I got partners practically in bed with me. Do you mind waiting outside, buddy? Put a quarter in that box to the work. Well, what are you blind? It's out of order. I'll do everything I can. Maybe then some of their other customers will crawl out of their holes and testify to the grand jury. Yeah, okay, bye. What's my can't you read, huh? I want my money. No money. That box used to bring in $150, $200 a month. How come you pull the plug? What, are you one of those sluggers? They send you over here to bat me around? Okay, bright boy, start batting. You got this all wrong, Mr. Killy. You don't like our music, that's your affair. We just want you to live and let live. You know what I mean? You don't like the boxer? I would send a truck over and we'll pick it up. But don't go around giving us no black eyes. Hmm? Uh, so you boys are beginning to crawl, huh? That's right. We figured that you could hurt us a lot more than we can hurt you. You bet your sweet life I could. It's already in the papers. I don't take a very good picture. I got five o'clock shadow. Yeah. <laughs> Him. How? How did you pick him up so fast? 
Well, we always keep a stock on hand. Name it and you can have it. Are you sure you're willing to testify he's the man who was... Well, why do I look blind? Sure as him. Thank you very much, Mr. Keeley. Save the lights, costs money. Uh, Mr. Keeley, you're still ready to testify, aren't you? What do you think? Why? Because I'm a model citizen. Because I don't like somebody else's hand in my pocket, no matter what side of the law they're on. We'd like to put a 24-hour guard on you. Hey, now look, mister. I got a brunt star for knocking off a pillbox on Saipan, and no punk like that's gonna make me run for cover. Just caught me off guard, that's all. Keep him there for a minute. You can put your gorillas on my house if it would make my wife any happier. What about you? Well, I've got a permit for a 38, and I'm pretty handy with it. Oh, uh, by the way, this, uh, this guy here, this staccato, he's been locked up here for the past 24 hours. So either it was a darn good resemblance or that swollen eye of yours is a little out of focus. It's true. So if you don't mind, I'll uh, sign a plain clothesman just in case. I'll tell your boys not to bug the customers. I can play ping pong, I won't charge them. Have you got a twin brother? There couldn't be two like him. Well, there must be, unless Johnny knows some secret way out of here. My secret way out of here is not to break the law in the first place. It's a big secret, but you can have it for nothing, pal. Smart boy. So I made a mistake. What does that make you, a hero? Can I go now, Sully? Yeah, yeah. Only do me a favor. What? Keep out of sight. Why? Because we got a dragnet out for your double. Looks like he's a hot little number. The orders are shoot to kill if necessary. I wouldn't want one of the boys to shoot the wrong Johnny. It might look bad on his record. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, supposing you don't catch the guy. What if he goes on shooting people? What am I supposed to do, lay low? Johnny, I gave up handing out written guarantees years ago. Thanks, pal. Where do I get my stuff? Oh, maybe you better leave your gun with me, huh? Temptation, you know? I can resist anything but temptation, Oscar Wilde, quote, unquote. <laughs> Fast call to Shad, my question and answer man. For 50 bucks, he'd dig up some information. 50 bucks. I'd hoped he'd choke on it, but I had to know where I could find this double. Change this, sir. Thank you. Man, you really gun them down, don't you? Yeah. Hermosa boarding house, 98th and Broadway. They brought him in from Canada. Real sharp cookie. Gets 5,000 a job. He must be good, huh? Man, you're in the wrong business. Plenty of people I'd like to gun down. Just for love, not money. Well, that's what makes the world go round. See you, baby. See you, Shad. I'll try to remember my key next time.
got your plane ticket. They want you out of the country before morning. But first, you got to finish the job you started. Keeley closes at one o'clock and take a taxi again. I still have time. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. You're not... Oh! saw at the lineup. I keep sweating, buddy. <laughs> look, look, I can't right, go I on. I'm going to let you have it right now. Wait a minute, you're making a big mistake. Get out. Out. All right, boys, the game's up. All right, kid, let's move it. Man, this character's setting himself up for a cold night, you know. Let's go. Look, why don't you call Sergeant Sullivan or Sergeant Backus sure. at the 16th Precinct? Sure, I picked the wrong guy out of the lineup. I had a swollen eye. I'll tell you one thing, I don't make a mistake twice. I'll get him out of here. All right, fellas, take it easy, take it easy. <clears throat> God, give him his gun. Hey, buddy, you want me to wait, don't you? Keely must be alone in there with him. takes a fall and the cops and I walk over to him and I look down at this guy and he looks exactly, but I mean exactly like me. Like an identical twin. <laughs> like an identical twin. Where did he come from? Canada. And Nina, I don't have any relatives there. So... Johnny, they say everybody's got a double somewhere in the world. Is that what they say, Walter? Come on, let's have some music. Uh, no music, then, please. What's the matter, Johnny? Don't you like music anymore? I love music, but it's getting to the point if you play it out of the wrong machine, you can get shot in the head. Ah, oh, forget it. Let's play it again. 